Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I am going to paint uh, something like a river. So it will just be like an, uh, the same landscape that I've been painting before. And I will try to put a date tree on the center of the river, something like that. So yeah, I will just do a simple tutorial today but I'm going to put or add details uh, good details to make it look more realistic okay and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials okay you can see all the materials needed on the screen consider the five limited colors the brushes that we're gonna need and all the things that we're gonna need to paint this painting okay so i'm going to start now and i'm gonna do it with sketching first i will be using this brush um, I think smaller this uh, flat brush and we're done on flat brush I have here the umber so I think this will be my rice one here yeah okay so it will be below the center everyone that will be my rice one and then I will put some I will put some forest here, then also here, some trees like that. Yeah, it will be a river, everyone. Okay, that's it. So I have now the sketch, and I'm going to start now. Okay, so I'm going to use a bigger brush. I have here the blue with a little red. Then white, more blue and the red. There, I want to create a darker sky, everyone. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna put a little amount of red here. Today I like to put a little darker sky and then I have white here. I'm gonna make the bottom part uh, brighter. And then on the bottom part, I mean the water, I'll try to make it darker. So maybe a little bit purple. There. More blue and the red. Yeah. Try to put a little bit of white. So you have now a beautiful blue and then let's uh, mix for purple red and then I'm gonna put a little bit of romber there so 
so this will be a virus here then we can mix blue on the blue on the umber one to make some darker colors So drag like that to create uh, some sort of reflection. You can just drag it down something like that. There. So I am ready to add the clouds. So yeah, I started right now. I'm gonna put white clouds there everyone i'm gonna put a lot of clouds yeah as usually i am just putting few clouds but now i'll try to put some other clouds here there so my i think my uh, light source will be in the top something A little bit dirty in my can in my brush. So it's a pure white, everyone, and then just put it here. There. I'll blend a little bit on the bottom part. So I'm gonna put a little bit highlights on the right side everyone. There. More highlights here. I wanna make it uh, so thick. You can make it thicker everyone to create more textures. You can just uh, follow my brush strokes.
I'll just uh, make it uh, brighter. I just want to make it brighter, everyone. Maybe some parts I will just cover. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe here. I'm gonna make it bigger or something like that. So, yeah. I'm not yet sure for everything that uh, I will not cover there. Okay? So here, it's uh, add more. So I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow. Blue and the uh, amber and then white. Yeah, I like this color. it like uh, it's uh, misty on this part there and then I will try uh, darker yeah maybe uh, umber and then more white Gonna uh, more white, not so much dark. try to add also some lights here I mean a uh, dark underpainting I'm gonna use blue under umber So here, I will make it uh, closer. I just put some rumber.
Okay, that's it. So, yeah, this would be a river here, everyone. So, like that. And then I'll try now to use uh, this bristle plot brush. So, let's put some trees there. I like to put a lot of trees here. So I'll just use true umber and the blue. There. So I can use the tapping technique. More dark, everyone. Try also here, everyone. Some darks. There, I like this texture here. this dog everyone I'll just blend on the bottom part so like this so yeah I've been like that it looks good I like uh, okay so I will slowly now start adding uh, details I like the clouds even looks good it looks uh, realistic clouds I've been just a uh, simple strokes you can go it like that I will start now adding some uh, highlights yeah okay so I will start here so I will use this whistle brush again. 
this one. I'll just put uh, white here and a little bit of yellow. So we have to do it uh, slowly everyone. And also remember this that uh, the highlights should be should be lighter than the background. Okay, let's remember that. And then I'll try to put some uh, lighter highlights with white and yellow here. Okay, so slowly everyone. So all my highlights from are on the right side. Just do the tapping technique. Okay, that's it. Okay, so it looks like uh, there's a uh, forest on the distance on the on the back part. So I like that, and it looks also that it's, uh, something light hit the, that forest. So yeah, it looks good. And I like those clouds. They're so simple and it's very effective. Okay, so here everyone, I will try to add some colorful trees also, not just green but also maybe something like an orange yellow and the red yeah this one is good Just that, but also greens.
this one everyone I will just put greens Okay, yeah, it looks good. Uh, this part, everyone will not put so much highlight because the light is coming from the right side, so I will strike through here. Uh, maybe on the top part, I will put something brighter. stopping technique I think this will just be very fast and easy tutorial for for you little bit of uh, orange Okay, that looks good yeah so simple and yet it's effective everyone you do not need to create so much uh, hard technique you just have simple uh, techniques and uh, just make it work something like that okay so here I will try to put now I think it's always right I will also put some colorful leaves there so maybe I will uh, put some orange first Okay, and then you can now add uh, some greens. Just tapping technique, everyone. All we have to do is just play a little bit on the colors. So here I'm gonna put a little bit of red and then yellow. On this color here.
still wet everyone but I like I like it because I can I can blend it to the to the background And then I will try to put a little bit of crown. Yeah, maybe a little bit of orange crown. So here, let's put there. So we have now a yeah, beautiful uh, composition. So here, I'll try to put a bit of uh, greenish also. So we should do our best to, to make it look that there's a lot of different uh, trees, everyone. So I just use your brush to create the uh, beautiful strokes. There. Okay. Yeah. And then we can try now to add a little bit of highlights. So I'm gonna add yellow and then red for the orange highlight So this now I can see now the highlights. Okay, and then I'll try now some light greens. Just make it slowly, everyone. A little bit of red. For here.
So let's remember the highlights should be on the right uh, right side. So as you observe everyone, I am using uh, different tones of greens and then, yeah, because I want to make it look that there is, even though I am using one brush, I want to make it look that uh, there are different trees. Okay, and then more yellow for this part here. There you go. Yeah, it looks uh, good and it looks realistic. Okay. Yeah, it's even, uh, yeah, it looks good, everyone. This is just so simple and it's, it looks good. So I will put now some, yeah, I will put first some a river bank here. I will be using small brush. So I have here uh, the umber, the red, and then yellow, white, And also here, let's put a little bit even small. I'm going to put some umber to add some darks also. So just uh, one stroke, but I'm using the smallest flat brush. Okay, so I'm going to mix again. Uh, this time a little bit of orange.
yeah I'll just put uh, a lot of detail like rocks there I have to make it look uh, realistic Okay, here you go. And then on the other side also, let's put a little bit of browns. This part will be dark, everyone. Okay, do not need to make to add highlights on that part because that part should be dark. Okay. There, it looks, uh, it looks far and it looks good. And I will try to add now some, some tree trunks there. So I'll just use this swamber. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some white. Or maybe uh, an orange. some yellow see now have some highlights also add here one some trace also Yeah. 
this one everyone I will try to add more uh, lights the river bank okay and then here I will try to add uh, more grass everyone but I want it to be lighter and maybe some more yellowish grasses little bit of red Okay, that's it. More yellow. Okay, so yeah, I think that looks good, everyone. It looks like really a realistic uh, uh, tree stair or forest in the beside the river bank. And so far it looks good. Okay, so yeah, maybe I, I will be doing now the bottom part or the reflections there. I'm gonna try to put uh, trees on the, I uh, know, I mean, uh, on the reflections. Okay, so I will do my best to make the reflection better or realistic. Okay, everyone, so uh, we're going to paint first the clouds here. I'm gonna put, uh, we're going to. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's it will be here. So yeah, we're going to put the clouds first. So we have here the bristle flat brush. I know I mean the, the medium size flat brush number eight. So I have here some white, a little bit of blue, and then umber. Not so much light, everyone. I think I will... Yeah, it should be here. Yeah, we should copy also what we saw in the... here. Maybe I should change this brush around. This is very old brush. So whatever you will see there on the top, just copy it down.
Okay. So some parts would be covered. Actually, it's better to use a smaller brush. There. Okay. Okay, so we have now uh, this white thing there. It will, we will just add uh, some highlights and then it will look will be look like that so I'm planning to put a tree here everyone like that. so maybe I'll put it first because I don't want to put uh, a lot of things here and I'll just cover <laughs> okay so yeah I'll put one tree here yeah like that I'll, I'll use first this uh, rumber. something here like uh, grasses also we'll put some dark color blue and the red so I'm not using any black everyone so I'll just be using dark purple So this is a T3. I'll just cover it with the room for everyone like that. A little dry first. Yeah, this part will be dark. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so it's just a random D3 there. The, I think I'm gonna use a new brush now. Yeah, I have a lot of.
Okay. Yeah, I think it will be look good. So here, yeah, I have new brushes. <laughs> so here, but I'm gonna try to put some. I will use first my old brush. Here, we're gonna put something like like some grasses here. So I'll mix for greens, blue, yellow, yeah, and a little bit of red. yellow I'm gonna make it dark to everyone or so later we can add uh, highlights here just uh, put first the I'll just put first the, the what they call this the reflections before I'm gonna put details on this uh, tree so uh, we're gonna put first the highlights uh, the reflection of this one we're gonna uh, try to mix that color blue I think rumber and then white a little bit of yellow, yeah. Raw umber. And then white. I think this is just too bright, I'm gonna put the raw umber. I'm gonna put some white. So just drag it down everyone like that. it and then here we're gonna put darker uh, just blue under umber and then a little bit of white color so 
should not be so wet everyone yeah just drag it down like that So I'll just cover here. There. Then, uh, row number everyone, you can do like that. Just drag it down like that. So we have now uh, the reflections. Even we we are not adding yet the the colors, even but it looks good. Okay, so here I'm gonna try to put the dark or darker. okay yeah yeah so we have now this beautiful reflection i like this reflection everyone it looks it looks realistic i like the yeah, yeah. so maybe i will improve on the reflection on the center so that it will look good okay so here i will try to improve I'll just use my old brush everyone then I'm gonna put some white and then I'll just drag it down like that Just copy what you are seeing in the top. Then I will try to put a little bit of uh, 
white lines there on the center just white There, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I will, I will try to put a little bit of gray yesterday because I think that is just too green, my reflection, just too green. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of bluish or something like purple. Red and blue, and then white. I'm adding a little bit of uh, purple if you want. Also here. Just a little bit of uh, lines, everyone, to create realistic effect. Yeah, it looks good. I think I like that. It looks uh, realistic. Okay. And then, yeah, I think this one also here. Uh, it will be challenging now. I'll use this old brush. <laughs> for an orange, yellow, and a red. Maybe much more orange. Almost 
also here. So whatever you see in the top, just paint it down. I want this water to be still. can put now some greens yellow and blue and a little bit of out of red I'll just drag it a little bit here Also here. Just do it slowly, everyone. Okay, and then I will try a much more greenish. Just blue and the yellow. Okay, there you go. Even here, Ruan, I can put a little bit of reflection, just a little bit. I want this to be look natural. And uh, some brown light browns blue umber and then white okay that's enough Just drag it down like that, everyone. I'm gonna make it uh, lighter. Here and also uh, light yellow. Just drag it down, everyone. So, whatever you see in the top, just put it down. Okay, and of course we have to put also the the trunk.
So here, let's put some there. Okay, so yeah, that it looks good. It looks uh, realistic uh, with the reflections. I like those uh, things there. I like those. Uh, I like those uh, details there. So it looks really, really nice. Okay. So I hope uh, you understand it, everyone. Now let's uh, try to put the. Uh, some details on the on the on the on the day three. So my our lights coming from the left side. I want this trunk everyone to be uh, bright. So yeah, blue amber, yellow, and then red. Then I'm gonna put some white there. still wet And then I have here the root umber and then white. I'll try to put some purple everyone, red and blue. Yeah, I think more red and then white. Okay, and then also here. So I will just 
do it slowly everyone I want to make it uh, realistic Okay, yeah. So it looks good, it looks bright everyone. I don't want to make it dark. And then I have here white. I want it to make it, uh, I want it to look white even. to here or so okay and then I'm gonna put uh, white I'll just make it detailed everyone I'll try to add some romber, some darks also. I think it's morning now. I think it's 1 a.m. So yeah, and then we'll put the, we are going to put the reflections, okay? So the reflection everyone, I'm going to make it blue under umber with a little bit of yellow. I want it to be looking like greenish or brownish. 
because this is not so deep water you can uh, make it like uh, it's shaking So, yeah, you can see now that uh, uh, it's on the water. Yeah, that's the tree is uh, falling on the water. Okay, so it's becoming much clearer now. And also, I like the reflection, it looks good. Yeah, it looks so good, everyone. It's just so simple and looks good. I'm gonna put on the on the uh, left side something like uh, plants there. So, yeah. So I'll be using this bristle flat brush, this one. I have a lot of yellow. So that means that we can only consume small amount of paints for one painting. You should practice like that everyone. So here just tapping technique. Let's put some more highlights. try to retouch a little bit and then I think I am done so I have here some raw umber and the white like that everyone
okay so not overdo it because uh, yeah it should be just like that there you go okay and then of course here I will try to add a little bit darks I think uh, also this is fine but uh, just a little blue umber and the blue color I think white Yeah. Just a little bit, everyone. To, uh, to. Because uh, when you are near the water, you can actually see the bottom part. It is like a uh, little bit of orange, uh, greenish. Sorry greenies brownies something like that so that's what i am showing here okay and then this uh clouds also i need to add a little bit of retouch and details i'm gonna use this amber i uh, know purple and then white Not so much bright, everyone. Just enough. There. Okay. So I'm going to also to put some, uh, some lighter bluish thing there. Some movements on the water, something like that. So maybe here. I'm gonna put blue. so much everyone so that uh, you will not overdo uh, those things okay it will just look like that uh, it's water okay so yeah I think I am done and um, everything looks good I like the result it's just so simple and it looks good and we finish it for almost two hours one hour and 42 minutes and uh, yeah I hope you are happy everyone as I am very very happy with the result it looks good it looks pretty realistic i don't want to put so much there because uh i want it to be that uh, you can still enjoy you can create this one and it will not be hard for you to paint this one so i will i want to do something like that yeah i think uh, everything i don't know if i have uh, wait i have to put something also sorry everyone there's a few retouch i mean uh, additionals so I will be mixing for orange so here
So just have a bit of orange. And even here, everyone. Yeah, just orange. Because that part is supposed to be dark. Okay. So I think I am done, everyone. I am happy with the entire result. It looks good. It looks uh, realistic. I like the... I like the scene, the view, and I hope that you are learning. Uh, you can paint also your landscape uh, with river. Okay, everyone, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like and some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.